welcome to season four of Community Storytelling. I'm Lisa Chrysler. I'm the same old Lisa Chrysler, but we got a brand new season of Community Storytelling. We've changed the set a little bit and we still have with us our sponsor, Linda Lester, who, as you know, I call her my fairy godmother. She has been with us for all four seasons and she's wonderful. We're gonna start off with a fabulous guest, uh, my new friend, and she's gonna be your new friend too if she isn't already because she is a Los Gatos resident. She's one of us. And her name is Catherine Decanay. And maybe we want to call you Medium Catherine. I don't know. Do, is Medium Catherine a legal name? Well, you can, well, Medium is actually a title. Yes. And But you can call me Catherine. I would love to call you okay. Catherine. <laughs> it's simpler that way. <laughs> New friend Catherine. Yes, why not? I mean, I don't want to be walking up and down Main Street and saying, oh, Medium Catherine. Yeah. No. I, I wasn't just sure. Say, hey, Catherine. <laughs> and so everybody's saying Medium. All no. of a sudden, their ears and their right. eyes have perked no. up. Ooh, and of. I was excited, too. I've, I've always wanted to talk to a medium. Now, explain right. to me, is a medium the same as a psychic, a clairvoyant? Are, are you all the same? Well, a medium actually is able to go one step, one level higher than a psychic. So the psych a psychic can talk about your past, present, future, talk with your guides, but the medium is actually one that could take you higher to the spirit realm to talk with your um, departed loved ones. And, and before we go further, let's right. just get this out of the way. Sure thing. You're not a fortune teller. And what no. is a fortune teller? A fortune teller is someone who is, see, there's, there's so much of that um, connotation about psychics who are properly trained, um, who really had to develop to be a medium and to really be um, that developed and skilled intuitive, right? So, a fortune teller is someone who, um, and n no, um, what do you call? I'm not trying to destroy anyone's or, uh, reputation or disparage anyone, mm -hmm. but it's it's more people who do have the talents, but more, they're not properly trained about the ethical principles involved in psychic re readings as well as mediumship readings. All right. So, um, all right. I'll you, stop you there. Haven't, you haven't offended anybody. No. Yes. <laughs> Now, I don't want to. <laughs> you say we all have this ability, have. but most of us don't know it. When did you know that there was something different about you? I was four, and I started seeing twinkling lights around people. And I and um, I also saw colors. Often or often, once in a while? Often. And there were, there were certain things that I knew about people that uh, weren't really um, brought to the forefront. Like, I'll give you an example. And I was this little kid, and my my mother would bring me to um, the market back mm -hmm. home, and then she would see a friend, and blah blah blah, and we would just be walking, and I would just blurt things out. Sometimes it's a little embarrassing for me to be around my mom because I would just talk and say, "Hey, didn't you?" Blah blah blah, and you know, and the and you know, not so innocently. You know, the lady would be, or my mom's friend would be so surprised that I knew that stuff about her. Now, did you tell your mom and your dad that you had this ability to, oh, they, I mean, could you say, okay, tomorrow, mom, we better not go out because you're going to fall down those stairs. I mean, <laughs> no. was it that simple or it was no. much, much it, more involved? It's more involved because my, my guides, because now I have formed a great relationship with them and I know them by name. Sometimes another guide walks in to for me to just, you know, learn lessons with. And, you know, they pull me back. They tell me, um, you know, when to pour, when to stop, you know, depending on what my intention is. So my big intention really is to do no harm. And if, you know, and I'm only asking for the, you know, for the highest and best good. And that's how I start my day. So if you know, there's nothing I, I mean, if my mom was, was going to fall, you know, then there would be a message for her not to go that route or something. And she would, she would definitely listen, um, sorry, listen to me, but my dad doesn't usually <laughs> pay attention to that. So. And did you ever warn friends that, you oh, know, yeah. don't go on the playground, do not go on the, the swing because you're going to fall right off of it today. Yeah. Or don't, don't go that route, you know. And or, would they listen? Oh no. Yeah. No, but it's it's also part of the, you know, our path, you know, you told them, okay, that's enough, don't interfere kind of thing. 
So, um, so we have to allow people to go through their, their own um, path. You Did know? you know we were going to have a COVID pandemic? Um, or something like that? I had that? an inkling two years ago, actually, yeah? that this uh, 2020 was going to be very difficult. Yeah. It, I had that. I felt it in the air. I had um, the whole year was just uh, there were a lot of premonitions all year. And so and that, that goes with the fires, all the the um, I even saw premonitions about all of the sea life being washed ashore. And that came. I don't know if you saw it in the news. It was it happened oh, in the yes. UK. Yes. Yeah. Well, you always hear people with missing persons cases mm -hmm. hiring a psychic. Mm -hmm. Have you been hired to handle something? I've things? been asked to. But you haven't done but it? But then I haven't done that. Can you warn us of an earthquake too? Because <laughs> if so, you're moving into my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, sometimes I get, I mostly get premonitions about fires. Fires are big. Well, that's yeah. important in this area. Right. That's yeah. important in this area. Absolutely. Now, have you seen anything about me? <laughs> I know there's a, I, well, right now, intuitively, I can tell you that two years from today, you, there's uh, some sort of a TV still with, with KCAT. KCAT's still going to have me, thank two goodness. Two level. <laughs> or the, yeah, there's a, I don't know how you, if. So if, you mean I'm going to go higher on the yes, ladder? Yes, and there's a tier system. So like ABC is going to yes, call me, I'm going to be doing the, some, the nightly I also news. Hear, I also hear syndicated, syndicate, something like that. See, goosebumps. Okay. That's my indication right there. Okay, so, You're okay, also so going I'm to be moving big. to a different home okay. or a second home later this year. Okay. I used to always say, really? Yeah. I just bought Are a you home. Also, well, there's, okay, there's also a second I can't home. afford a second one. Well, no, there's <laughs> there's something of that. Okay, so when things like this happen, you put it in the back burner. You see, you take what applies for you today and you just leave the rest. Okay. And you see how that manifests okay. for you. Yeah. Gonna have any more grandchildren? Mm, one more. That, that's all I want. That's it. One more. Yeah. I keep telling my younger daughter it's time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna. Now I'm really gonna talk to her. So we're gonna break because okay. I want you to pick up a card, or yes. I want to pick a card. And there's so much more yes. to Medium <laughs> Catherine than Medium. I mean, you wait till you wait till I go over her biography with you. Oh, no. We're gonna break because Lester Square is calling. I think I hear Linda Lester on the phone telling us to come on over. We'll be right back with Community Storytelling. I'm Lisa Chrysler. Hi, it's Lisa Chrysler. I'm at Leicester Square right here at the corner of Blossom Hill Road and Los Gatos Boulevard. A lot of fun things to do. Ken! Lisa, I didn't so even nice to see you. Finish my sentence. I'm so surprised to see you. What are you doing here? Well, we live close by and we're taking Rocky to the vet today. So do you have time for a cup of coffee at Phil's with me afterwards? Sure. Is it your treat or mine? It's definitely your treat. And Rocky's coming too. I Good with me? I am so glad to run into you at Leicester Square. It's one of my favorite places. It's one of my favorite places too. And we've been to Varenza and Super Duper and Phil's and we love going here. And so you know where I live, I have no flowers. So I come here to Leicester Square to enjoy all the flowers. They're gorgeous. So the motto here that Linda Lester coined is meet me at the square or meet us at the square or meet your besties at the square. I meet everybody at the square. It's Leicester Square in Los Gatos. Come on by and cheers. Yes. So we're back with season four. I just love saying that of community storytelling. I'm sitting with medium Catherine. When you see on the street, just call her Catherine. But we're putting the medium in. She's doing something with her cards and a card just fell down. Should I pick that up for you? No. OK. <laughs> OK, you're going to tell me so, something about that. I've, yeah, so we found out so far that I'm going to be going to ABC in a couple of years, um, <laughs> taking no. David Muir's place. Ooh, um, fancy. We're going to buy KCAT TV, so yes. they come with us. Yes. And now you're going to, you're, what do we call this, reading cards? Well, or? so these cards, so I put the intention on the cards to only okay. show me what's the highest and best good okay. for everybody concerned. Okay, I got okay. three cards. Okay, okay. And this, these are about me. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I'm also going to have you, we're going to do an exercise and you're going to be tuning into the cards to see how you feel about them. Okay. Okay. So okay. again, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. <sighs> it's like, it looks like, it looks like somebody looking at a pretty butterfly. I love butterflies. Okay. So the meaning of this, so butterflies are symbolic to new beginnings right. and spreading your wings. Whoa. 
and the mystery of life and the mystery of adventure. Okay. okay? So that is actually okay. ooh, goosebumps. Wow. But <laughs> So and, you that, know, I got and the chills blo- just yes. Now. yes. So How this is, is that? yeah. That's that's your that's just the simple you know indication that your guides are with you. So this All is right. you spreading your wings right. and really being open to what's to come, right? And and, so and is, that's hard for me to do. So okay. I know that's very and hard that's for me why. to do. You got to okay. again. It's a journey from the head to the okay. heart. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. So there's your okay. Card. There's one. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. That's somebody who looks like he's out amongst the clouds and he's drifting. What what animal is that? What familiar is that? Looks like, a, oh, an ape, a, a monkey. It's a gorilla. It's a gorilla. Okay, I was close. So yeah, yeah, close. yeah. Uh, you know, gorillas are tough warriors, right? They're I'm very a tough. tough. I'm a survivor. They're they're about uh, you know they're into communities and tight kinship and stuff like that's, that okay that's so me? this tells me that you will you are currently with a good community of supportive people around you especially with work also with family yes and you are somewhat of a warrior that you whatever it is that comes your way you you actually uh get through those and i do challenges i do yeah and i've had I've, you, you know i'm a widow yeah. Um, and I had to, you know, still raise a couple of daughters and we had to be strong yeah. and we became a team and right. I met my love, you know, oh. nine years ago. And so, okay, this is nine and fallen into place. Right. So there you go. So you keep going. And right. this one number is this seat number one. And that tells me a lot because number one is all about, Hey, you know, He's what do you call that? Me. Yeah. <laughs> me. Yeah. You know, okay. spotlight, okay. leading lady, you, so, right? So you're very positive. Yes, I it has be to be po- positive. It's positive for everyone. Yeah, well, if the intention, I'm, I'm not, All right. well, because if anything comes through between those All that right. they're showing me that I have to tell you, then, then yeah. Well, that's like a, well, it's two cats. Two cats and <laughs> some cat lady i've been called a cat lady before okay how do you feel when you look at that well, what does your heart little, tell you she's a little frightening i don't know it looks i don't it doesn't look okay. like a happy picture so uh, cats are they're very um intuitive yes and they actually see before think they see things before things happen so okay. within you is the same you see do you see that i do okay so that's indicative of you could actually also do this. You could tune into the heart and um, know about your guidance if you're trying to make a decision. All right. S- cats are also very sleek. You know, they're very, um, what do you call? They, they have nine lives and they are adaptable. And sometimes I feel like I have had nine lives. Yeah, and so again, there you go. <laughs> And and there you go. It's another. It's a okay. seven. What number is that? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. So three plus seven is ten. Drop the zero. It's a one. There you go. You're hired. <laughs> I'm taking you with me to ABC. <laughs> no, David Muir, watch out! No, you're cute and all that, but she's taking over. <laughs> but no. Um, so you do seances. No, I don't do you seances. You do not do seances. I do um, circles. Circles. Do you do that thing where like if you buy a new house or you're taking, you're moving into yeah. an older house and you, you can clear it, clean the yeah, air. Yeah, saging. What's yeah. it called? Sage. Sage. I clear. Yeah. I've, yes. Yeah, okay. I do that. That's part of the day. <laughs> all right. Do yeah. you make money off of this? Is there money in all of this? Because no, we nobody gets to the rich. Rest. As a <laughs> so is there money in this? <laughs> Frankly, no. Oh. There's not really, you know, there's not, um, there's, unless you're famous or you, or you've written a book, right? And you ha- is that you the do- one thing you haven't done yet? I was inclined to write a book years ago, but I'm not really, I don't know if it shows up in my life again, then it's the perfect time. Well, so let me tell you about this woman, Catherine, <laughs> medium Catherine. So she used to be in healthcare. Right. She got her MBA. <laughs> she has been a chef, a professional chef. Mm-hmm. You had a a dessert store, I think, right? Yeah, it was a uh, um, personal chefing I did. Personal chefing. Mm-hmm. You're a realtor. I'm a realtor. Yes. Now, does this help you in the real estate world? Yeah, it it helps me a lot because when I walk into a home, I could feel the energies and clear it right away. 
and you know and so that's i clear whatever is not necessary a lot of the things that i feel even in this building is called residual energy i don't feel any ghosts or anything that's not wanted here it's just the energies from just like you and i sitting here it's energy actually is uh on the walls and everywhere you know it it just attaches to to stuff so what do you what feeling do you get sitting in the kcat studio The only thing that's showing me, showing up right now is an older lady. And again, it's it's the that same would be man. Me. I'm afraid no. that's me. No, <laughs> no, a grayish hair, and it's uh, someone who liked the baseball. That's who's here right now. Well, someone I love showed, baseball. Okay, yeah, he's showing me a picture of someone with the baseball. So now, why haven't you? You could just set up a studio, and I would think everybody would come. I did. I had an office um, in, on Bascom Avenue um, and also um, Napa that I had to close due to COVID. Oh. And so now I'm just doing Zoom sessions. Yeah, I would love to have my own wellness place again. And right. can you do readings via Zoom? Because oh, yeah. you're, you know, you're not with that person. No, it's, it's energy is energy. Just like when you're watching TV, right? It's the it's energy actually travels faster than words so thoughts thought forms travel faster than yeah just like if you're thinking about somebody and all of a sudden they call you that's how fast it goes and does that happen to you a lot oh a lot <laughs> so now what's your website www.skhealingessence.com so skhealingessence.com mm -hmm. skhealingessence.com well, this has been an interview I'll always remember. Oh, thank you. And when I go to ABC, I'll, I'll, I'll call yes, you. Yes, so better call me. <laughs> Hook so, me up with, with David. No, just so, kidding. <laughs> here we are. Season four of Community Storytelling, and it's time for you to now be part of season four. So much has happened this last year, and you may know people. It may be you. It may be a bestie. Somebody has done something fabulous, spectacular, mm. has a story to tell from this last year, we got we got to get that person in this chair right next to me. So would you go to kcat.org and nominate yourself, your friend? It's so easy to do. And let's sit down together, all right? Let's make you part of season four. I'm so excited to get this community storytelling back and running and kcat TV and Linda Lester. What can I say? You're all fabulous. kcat TV 15, thank you for being with us today. I'm Lisa Chrysler. Thank you.